The monastery built in the name of the Virgin Mary and known with his name by the local people. The place was founded in the 4th century AD and it was expanded into a monastery during the Byzantine Empire. Still, it is the most well known and most visited of the monasteries today. Sumeda Monastery is an important cultural treasure that will continue to fascinate its visitors. If you are a history enthusiast, you should definitely visit Sumela. came to Sultan Murat Lezzet Pide Salonu. It's a really tiny place, it's a family restaurant. They are famous for their pide, which is the one that I'm showing you right now. It's minced meat, uh, Turkish pizza, you can call. And also their special cheese, which is called kuymak or muhlama. It's really nice. Uh, my mom is not enjoying the restaurant that much. <laughs> But I really liked it. It reminded me a lot of <coughs> home food that my grandmother used to make. Right now I'm with the restaurant owner and he's going to tell you something in Turkish, okay? And I'm going to translate. Öncelikle hoş geldiniz. Sultan Murat'a gelen turistleri burada ağırlatmaktan gurur duyarız. Hepsine saygılar, sevgiler. Lezzet bize salonuna oramadan geçmesinler. Aynen. Teşekkür Hepiniz ederim. buraya gelin. Teşekkür you guys all have to come here, huh? Teşekkür ederiz. Allah razı olsun. Sağ olun. So right now I'm going to show you guys Sultan Ahmed Plateau. The place is in really high altitude so it always snows and it's quite cold. The roads are really steep and it's quite dangerous actually. The best season to visit here is summer or in the beginning of fall. The map says it takes one and a half hour to come here but eventually it took us two hours. Just let you know that you will spend one day here and after seeing this video you decide whether it's worth it to come here for a day or not. There are also other plateaus in Trabzon or Trabzon and Rize. I think they look pretty much the same. But one of the most famous plateaus like Aydar, Aydar Yaylas, Aydar Plateau, uh, there are more places. There are like hotels and a lot of constructions. So if you really like something that is untouched, nature, I think this can be a good place for you to visit. I will say that the place is a little bit overrated. They're not much to see. <laughs> but you also think that this place is a little bit overrated, right? You don't think so? I didn't know anything about it. I breathe in gratitude for the blessings in my life. 
breathe out and let go of judgment. I breathe in kindness. <laughs> 